Yo, what's going on, man? 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 Yo, what's going on, and get straight to the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you react to. Tap into my socials. We're on the road to 500. Other than that, let's get to the video. Welcome back to another episode on JTV. Ricky reached out to me because he felt like this girl named Gloria was scamming him out of his money. He explained to me that he sent Gloria a lot of money that he don't want to disclose on camera. And after he sent that money, she blocked him on everything. I feel her money through Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. She asked, she blocked my social media account from reaching her. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So now as soon as you tried, as soon as you sent the money, she you just lost all communication with her. I, everything fell apart. Man, I saw the picture of that bitch, man. She was fucking hot. I never seen her in person, man. It's some big bullshit. Stirring people fraud and everything. And goddamn, man, we were on the phone, we were chatting and everything. And as soon as I all, as soon as I finished my last drop of money, she cut me off, man. She blocked me. <laughs> After time passing by and Ricky sitting there actually thinking <laughs> about what took fun. place, it sent him in a depression, which led him to do his own digging. In doing so, he found out that Gloria had a boyfriend of her own, which led him to believe that this whole entire time, him and his girlfriend was scamming him out of his money. So he ended up finding out. Gloria's boyfriend information and uh, reaching out. He actually had no knowledge of this at all. So, Ricky, this is who you were talking to. This is Josh. He's behind you. What's up, bro? So, I'm gonna let that the strip club, dude. Hey, hey, Ricky, man. Hey, Ricky, be respectful, dude. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be respectful, bro. You know what I'm saying? Breach, be talking to him, right? That's his girl, bro. Be respectful, though. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, where, where do you need her, bro? I'm gonna let that girl at the strip club, man. She, I mean, I don't know who she is, what her name is, but I mean, I met her at the strip club, but she's a fraud. She's blocked her Facebook, Twitter, Instagram accounts and everything, man. I talked to Josh through text messages, and he seemed like a really pretty cool guy. Yeah, this is what you do. He reached out to me, telling me everything about my girl, and I was like, I can't really think. I don't know, like, this is kind of weird. And Ricky, dude, he hit me up. Talking about, oh, my girl, she sent a lot of money, this and that, all that kind of stuff. I ain't even listening to my brother, but he just kept hitting my mouth, hitting my mouth, hitting my mouth. So I was like, all right, let me, let me look at this. And I just sent her money through Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo. Man, she's a fraud, but you waste your time, bro. Because I am bankrupt, I am broke. <laughs> I did all that, all my fucking money, man. And she took yeah. all of that. She hung me dry. I'm homeless. I have no job, I have no fucking car or nothing. Man, fucking cool bitch. Bitch. Stupid mm -hmm. fell apart, cries little fucking car. You ain't never called or talked to on the phone, <laughs> heard her voice, none of that. You know what I'm saying? And you steady standing up money. <laughs> I brought up your answer right there. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah, Straight up, man. The whole ordeal is kind of weird to me. So when he, uh, bro. This nigga done went bent up for a bit that he never seen or heard from. <laughs> now you know the voice, like, now you homeless and no job. <laughs> Some folk deserve, <laughs> some folk deserve what they go through for, this shit crazy. <laughs> and to make it even crazy, he went and got Jack TV to record it for him. Hopefully, some folks do send his ass some money. <laughs> Bro, the strip club, y'all kind of looked at each other. Why, why? It's more of I told you something, but it's not my place to say that. But like I said, I don't see nobody working in a strip club that ain't serving drinks. Shaking ass, oh, uh, you recruit. Somebody, somebody got to be explaining. Money popping up randomly. Bro been bringing it to me for a minute. No mm -hmm. answers. Yeah. No answers. Very true, very true. I mean, that's that's what it is where I met her. I met her in the strip club. Oh, you met her in the strip club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she was a body girl out there. I went, I went out there with some of my homeboys, and we out there having a good time. And she was one coming to our table uh -huh. and shit. And I got a number from there, and we started talking. And we really been going strong for the past couple of years. Okay, so after receiving all the information that Ricky basically just told you, do you feel like y'all relationship revolves around money? Absolutely. Like she, yeah, she, she, she pop, she popping over with random, random clothes, all this kind of stuff, random shoes. Always asking me for this and that. Like it, it's really starting to make sense now. Like, really, like I'm, like I said, bro, I'm at, I'm at a strip club, bro. She was bottom girl out there. Me and my homeboy went out to the She be giving us our drinks all night, all night. Really been going strong for like two years, bro. Like, 
We just been trying to take care of this girl, bro. I need to drop everyone for everything. Damn, bro. Maybe I should do this shit. So today we had our decoy, Gabriel, actually reach out to her through Instagram a while ago. So they started talking and communicating, and today she's supposed to meet him across the street at the restaurant. Oh, she wow. don't know that Gabriel's supposedly supposed to stay over here, but his objective is to talk to her and get her to come over. Okay. Okay, so we'll be watching everything upstairs. What time did she tell you she was coming? Okay, so, yeah, she should be here in about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and go upstairs, get everything situated, and hopefully you get your answers, bro. Yeah, what's good, bro? Okay. What's up, bro? Like a chick. What's up? Play the game or whatever. <laughs> believe that Gloria preys on older men to use them for their money, so I took the liberty of hiring Gabriel as our decoy. And the plan was for us to rent out this beautiful Airbnb, pretending that Gabriel stays here, using his house as a way to showcase Gabriel's wealth. Gabriel actually been talking to Gloria for about a week now, and they decided to go ahead and meet up for dinner. What Gloria don't know is that his house is literally right across the street from where they'll be eating. This was all planned out perfectly, so when Gabriel mentioned he stayed literally across the street, it wouldn't be too much of a hassle for her to just walk across. So Josh, Gloria's on her way here. Um, Gabriel's about to make his way to the restaurant so he can meet her there. Is there anything you don't want him to do while he's conducting the test? I mean, I really, this is all kind of a shot to me. I really just kind of want to see where her head space at, and really he can kind of do whatever I want to see what she up to. Okay. That's, that's really it. All right. So I'm going to get you down there. Um, you already mic'd up, so basically everything's smooth. You already know what to do. I talked to Jeff about it. I've never seen this girl before, but I want to see her try to get out of this money that I can back as possible. Man, if you don't mind me asking, like, how much you sending her? I mean, I got a check already want. I give her the whole check. How much is the check? I don't want to share that information. That's, 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 that's cool, bro. I understand. I understand. All right, so Josh, yeah, we can just go ahead and uh, go down to the command center and we can watch everything that's going on. We tried setting up command center for today's test, but because of the area, we were only limited to listening through the mics. Cameras were set up in the house just in case Gabriel was able to get her to come over, and this loyalty test is officially about to begin. Yo, Jack, man. What's up, man? What's good, bro? Hey, bro, I know I met you for the first time yesterday. Doing all these videos. <laughs> 50 and bro, appreciate it, bro. I'll... Yeah, 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 so we all about, you know, watching the dinner. She pulled up, shining up with her, bro. Like, damn, like, she got some questions to ask, bro. She got some questions to ask. Tell me about Dubai. I want to hear about it. I ain't never been. You went by yourself? This was my first solo trip, and I think it was more so like, it was like a getaway. This is my first business that did really well. I had a hair company, and it did really well. And then at that same time, it was getting hard for me to manage everything by myself, just with the shipping, the vendor, the marketing, just everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I had went through like a bad breakup, a bad friendship, so like I it was like literally like a, get away like i needed to get away for a mental just everything recharge and i went and i don't know i wasn't scared like i'm not scared i've been on my set i just did my third um solo trip actually i did a tri trip but going right to dubai um when i went i did research on it i did um hire a driver and i did like a little tour my first day so i could kind of get a feel of what yeah. everything was just the idea yeah. i did the business safari i went and did the oh, you did the whole i did the, you whole, did the whole damn thing I was okay like, I'm, gonna do it. I'm gonna do everything so and you did, did all of that solo i did all of this solo. wow yeah. that's brave I, I i admire that that's awesome. Yeah, my third was just a tri-city. I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico for one day. I did a hot air balloon ride, which is the picture you like. Yeah. And I flew to Washington, D.C. because I had never been to Washington. I flew there. Wow, you've been all over the place. Okay. So I like, you know, I'm like, I'm And that's why all this is very, you know, fitting because I do like nice things. And I do like, you know, I'm not just like that. Yeah. I like right. nice people. I mean, you know, I am single. It's crazy because I am really actually single. Uh, single, single, or? I'm, 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 I'm single. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I am. Okay, yeah, you started with that. I'm single as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm single as fuck. Yeah, I'm
Yeah. Nobody. Um, what you want to do? I got some 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 ideas of what we can do. Down for it. Yeah. Down. Down. Super attractive and. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Well, my place is actually right there. If you want oh, to really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You wanna you wanna go I check would, it out with me? I would. All right. Let's get out of here. You don't live far, so maybe we can hang out at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Lo agreed to come over to our decoy's house, and she already told our decoy that she was single when she clearly has a boyfriend. We we're gonna let this test go on, but since we are all the way on the fourth floor of this townhouse, we don't have a good connection to hear exactly what's going on, and we also don't want to risk the decoy accidentally bringing her up, exposing our position. It's another level up there. Okay. I just didn't want you to walk through all those stairs. You know what, though? We can take the elevator. Uh, yeah, come on. Yo, visual is still bad. It's coming in the nuts, man. Chopping on the door. Mic signals from every camera. Oh, bad, baby. There's a satellite in the area. That's a bad thing, baby. If we can go in now, we can because she didn't already show us that she can. Yeah. Been here about a year. I like it. I like it so far. So, this is, she like, oh, I've never been in a house. Give you a grand tour. Yeah, see, I told y'all, thank you very much. I was like, wait a minute, this is so hard. I know, this is beautiful. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, I like it here. It's real quiet. I see that. You should come be here with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. I see a crazy like vibe here. It seems like it will be very tranquil. This is all you. This is. You, you seem like y'all are dead, man. Oh, really? <laughs> Something I should be in with you, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. I don't want you to be in it with somebody else. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. This shit is crazy, bro. I feel bad for dude who got all his money so his whole check. He said he was homeless, this and that. Mm -hmm. Women out here, man. It's crazy. According to Josh, he's seen enough to actually go in and confront her. We were only using the restaurant as phase one of this loyalty test, and she completely mm -hmm. failed denying any existence when it comes to her boyfriend. Yeah. No, bro. I've been seeing enough, bro. Like, she, she already said the things. She was just shit, bro. Like, let's just go. Bro. As for Ricky, well, let's just see how she reacts to seeing him for the first time in person after allegedly taking advantage of him and using him for his money. <laughs> really? That's what I like to hear. Yeah. 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 you through text messages he never seen you in real life and he sent you a lot of money and you ended up ghosting him on everything mm -hmm. i don't know i know you i don't know you i'm gonna find you i, I, I bet you, you i bet you feel dumb now what would you kids be doing though mm -hmm. what am i doing what do you mean what you doing you out here entertaining you was just on a hard day all day you got sending your money what you mean bro why why are we doing this what? what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing why, why don't you answer that for me? So did, did you not accept she any money from me? I don't know. You know, I don't know. There you go. Shut the 
Screenshots of everything that y'all talk hey, about, bro. all the money being sent, all that kind of shit. That nigga I mean, made it for you mean? <laughs> you owe me no money, I'm gonna get you, bitch. I mean, you go to the cemetery. Money, bro. You want to do a short for a bonfire, you know why? I'm gonna invest that you milk or nothing. What did he say? Money, I'm gonna get you, bitch. What? I mean, you go to the cemetery. Money, bro. You want to do a short for a bonfire, you know why? I'm gonna invest that you milk or nothing, bitch. You ain't gonna be fed or nothing. What that nigga is bad, my bro. <laughs> bro, right there is pissed off about his uh situation. <laughs> Jack TV, uh, sponsor support. Uh, the 